I'm in the middle of styling it, AKA taking all the ugly stuff out so I can take a better picture of it. Hi guys, welcome to my office. Do you notice something new in the background? I can now leave my closet doors open because it's not hideous. I mean, it looked so ugly before. So ugly and embarrassing. So now it just looks so nice. I'll give you a little tour of my office closet. It just got installed two days ago. It's not really styled. It's like half styled. It's half practical. The great thing about YouTube is you can just be real. That's how I feel. Um, and if you want to look at pretty pictures, I will put the link below and you can click on it and see the really pictures that it's styled. But the rest of the office looks like a disaster still. And I also want to point out that I'm sitting on a step stool as my chair because I repainted the floors and they look so good and my chair actually scratches them up. I mean, this is really good for your posture, but you know, this is like real life. And my goal is to actually leave it, like style it and hopefully keep it practical. So I'm trying to find creative ways of hiding like the ugly stuff. By the ugly stuff, I just mean like the things that look messy, like gift wrapping and I don't know, things like that, that just need a place, but don't need to be totally seen. So I guess that's where baskets come in handy. So, all right, let's talk about it. Some stuff out, like that stuff up there, which is supposed to be, um, you know, wallpaper and that stuff, uh, wrapping paper and all that stuff. Put some books in, all of that. So all things I actually need in there are now like here, which what I'm gonna try to do is leave it out of this closet. Because if I leave it out of this closet, maybe I could actually find some function and still have it look beautiful, you know? Okay, back to the wallpaper, which is adhesive and removable, but obviously looking at this, it's not gonna be going anywhere and that's okay. So I picked a very classic large buffalo check, um, Levette's on Etsy. I've worked with her, this is my third time. She's amazing. We picked out a color. I had her scale it down a little bit, um, gave her the dimensions and she just sent over the panels. And look how beautiful, it was so easy, you guys. So, so easy. Um, I will try to put up a video of me actually um, doing it if I can find it, but it was just like, you just peel and stick and it really adheres to it very, very well. Um, this is my charging station. I love it because it like comes out, but my head's not gonna obviously hit the shelf right here. Um, California Closets gives free consultations and the story that I'm gonna tell you is that I, Worked with them for a blog post for a free consultation, not for this closet itself. But then once I saw this design, I mean, I just had to save my pennies and, you know, go through with it. So I did. All right, so sometimes funny working with a company and you're like, I actually really do want that. All right, um, charging station here. This I'll probably just put something in here. Right now there's nothing. Still trying to style it, guys. But uh, this is a like a letter organizer from the container store and this trace container store. And these just kind of charge my, um, I got an Xperia tablet when I used to be a Sony Club blogger. Then my iPad, which I tether it to my, well, wirelessly tether, I guess, um, to my 5D Mark IV. So as I shoot, images come up on here. Clients love it. It sets you apart. So if you're a photographer, you should definitely do that um, if you have corporate clients. Okay. So this is the, uh, um, a drawer that's like waist level, obviously. So I bought these on Amazon for really, really cheap. And I just preferred my own, um, hardware. Wah! Right. I need to like have that like angel singing song. All right. So, um, I thought about making these custom because lenses are really difficult. And I am going to tell you that the lens hoods don't fit on it because it makes it thicker but even if I put the lens hood on I couldn't really close it because it just hits it but I'm okay with that um, these containers are from home goods which is like TJ Maxx home and they are um, really for like your kitchen knives and things like that and this expands um, I lined them myself from uh, it's like a linen it's a little squishy too uh, from the container store so I just put my lenses batteries here rechargeable um, I do label things I'm a huge labeler I swear it makes life easier for so many reasons and then I also label my lenses so if you're a photographer you should label each one of your lenses with your phone number your name and phone number and this is um, you know for my uh, Olympus OM one for the film camera if you you know it's like all the gear uh, calibrating my monitor so this is all lenses just so convenient just have it here um when i'm shooting for the blog okay this is 
This is the printer and it also slides out, which is amazing. Um, that was not my idea, but it was California Closet's idea. It's like I had, she just knew what I had and knew how to fix it. Um, fix the uh, dilemmas that I had. And this is kind of just like more stuff like my laptop and travel gear. Um, I think this is Kodak printer and I worked with them and just like paper. I do need to get rid of like cardstock. I don't need 200 pages, but um, photo paper down here. And this is um, all my files and products that I get in to like give away or just organize, really just to give away. To be honest, I like to do giveaways and I like um, gifting these to people. And when people ask like, what do I do with all the things that I have? I give it to friends or when people like do a free photo shoot for me, I like grab a ton of stuff and put it in a bag and give it to them as a thank you. Or, um, just baggies like for traveling, organizing so many things. Oh, apparently I like pink, gold, and um, black. Those are my colors. Uh, my undefined shooting bags for lens bags. Um, love these. This holds two lenses. This one holds three. You can slide it on. Also hold your laptop, so it can be a laptop bag. That um, is like, I don't even know what you call it, like a roller bag that holds all my lenses. So when I go to photo shoots, that's all there. I make sure I take my um, iPad and I put it in there. So that's a region closet, but it's super efficient. I can put my tripods up there, wrapping paper, pretty crafty. And it is housing pretty much, I mean, everything that I need. Just the not pretty stuff, I'm gonna probably put it, see, I don't even wanna show you the rest, sorry. But I'm just gonna ruin this video by showing you how messy everything else is. But that is um, it. Oh, I want about why do I even have stuff to hang here? So as a blogger, I do fashion as well and clothing comes in, so I want to hang them here so I know what I need to shoot. It just keeps it separate from my own closet. I told you that I like labels. I have labels even in my own closet. So for that, these are from Ikea. This is from Container Store um, for bags. And uh, most of the acrylic things, Container Store, but this is from um, California Closets. I just, I really believe that small spaces, you can put a wallpaper. Um, there's nothing, I don't know if there's such thing as too busy for a small space though either. It's so small, it's just adorable. Like it'd be so plain if this was just white. So I'm so glad that I did this and had a little character. And to turn off the light, you know, just do that. Or I could even um, just dim it. So like late at night when I'm working, it's like mood lighting, so pretty. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this. If you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to know what you think about this. Um, would you like an office closet like this? Um, do you think it would help with your efficiency? Because I'm all about that. And if you want to know the pricing of all of this, you can click below. I will link to my actual blog post with obviously very styled photos and a breakdown of cost. Thank you so much for watching.